Hey guys, welcome back to our video. In this video, we gotta show you how we restore back our headlight. So this is how it looks like when we first got the bike. So the headlight is discolorated, uh, faded and yellow. So we'll try to restore it back to the original form. First thing first, we remove the back cover, separate the reflector from the cover itself. We then oil the screws that are sort of like molded. Then we disconnect all the wiring connections. Then we give the cover a clean wash before we start sanding off the oxidized layer. We tried sanding with 800 grit, 1600 grit. We tried heating method and also compounding. By the end of the day, the result is not what we expected because the sandpaper is not fine enough. The next solution will be painting. While waiting for the first layer of paint to dry out, we use the rubbing compound to clear up the yellow land and also sealant to seal up the cracks and the uneven surface. And we went back to apply the second layer of paint on the covers. We then wrap the headlight rim with a black chrome vinyl wrap to cover up the scratches and also to make it look more stealth. Next, we apply the headlight pin on the headlight to cover up the scratches and also to protect it from further oxidization or to become yellowish again. The first attempt to apply the headlight pin wasn't very successful, so we decided to just install back the headlight without it and try it on another day. We tried to apply the headlight pin again on the second attempt, but uh, it's slightly more successful. However, we still see a lot of rough edges around the corner. We were also thinking about giving the headlight a more modern look by changing its light bulb. This is the regular H4 light bulb, which is yellowish. We bought direct plug and play H4 LED light bulb, which is white, and a pair of T10 lights, which is multi color. Installing them are quite easy, it's quite direct. You just need to remove the reflector from the headlight. Disassemble all the wiring. It's quite simple, it's just plug and play. Lah. So just done. Okay, take out. And then put back in. So it comes with a controller which I can change the color. So I can change them to blue or I can change them to red. or even green. To change the main H4 light bulb, you just need to remove the spring clip and then just replace them directly and not forgetting to put back the dust cover and then just connect all the connection back to the reflector and test the connection is working before, you, before we assemble back the reflector back to the cover after you complete the assembly, remember to check your alignment of your light. Adjust them accordingly to your preference. So this is our third attempt applying the headlight beam. So after some revision and some online research, we realized that the best way to apply is actually keeping the headlight on the bike rather than taking it out because it's more stable. So while you pull the headlight film to cover the edges, the headlight doesn't move and it doesn't give you crease or bubble that easily.
we applied the smoke color on the left side of the headlight and chameleon color on the right. So let us know which one you prefer and you find it cooler. However, later on we found out that we run out of the chameleon color so we got no choice to apply the smoke one on both of the headlights. Thank you guys for watching this episode about headlight restoration. We will see you on the next episode as the restoration continues. Thank you. Bye-bye.